What's the crack, lads? We are back on Monday taking a look at the new packs. We've got the Spanish League attackers here. We're going to be taking a look at Saviola, Figo, and of course, Clivert. I was going to say Justin Clivert, but that's his son. But yeah, Clivert is definitely the weaker of the bunch. We're also going to have a quick roundup, right? We're going to take a look at some of the stuff that is going to be coming. It won't take too long with this. Obviously, we get our first bit of news on V3.5, the next big update. And honestly, boys, we're going to go into this in the live stream later. I've got a lot to say about the current update, which is V3.4. V3.5 needs to really bang. Honestly, it really needs to bang. They're also going to be, I'm going to talk about cheaters and how that network uh, stuff has been going on. We'll talk about that in the stream as well. And you ha also have your login bonuses, right? But I'm going to keep this short and sweet with the player review, as we always do on a Monday. We will be streaming a little bit. We might spin. We'll see. We still have donation coins, as you can see there in the top right-hand corner. GG's to everybody on the live stream for supporting the channel. Everything goes back into the channel So uh, and for content. So we do have our three legends here. I'm not really too interested in the rest of the players on this at all, which is a big pity because usually if there's like one or two fairly decent players on this, I know Vinny's there, um, you can kind of tempt, you know, by spinning maybe three or four and hopefully getting, you know, one player. But to be honest with you, these are the best players by a mile. So starting with Clybert, I think that he is definitely an interesting choice. We'll have the player builds at the end of the video. You guys seem to like that. I don't train cards now taking the booster into effect. If a card doesn't hit certain thresholds, I just don't bother with that card. Because with the way the gameplay is at the moment, obviously you can play for fun and stuff like that. But you are kind of tying your hand, one hand behind your back or one, one leg behind the other, um, I should say, on the pitch. If you do have a player that doesn't hit certain thresholds. Yes, of course, you can score lots of goals with Clivert. He's got one touch pass, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, chip shot, long range and knuckle shot as well as riding, rising shot and outside carrier. It's a fine card. He's got a nice booster there as well, which is the technique plus two. Tight possession, low pass dribble, and a ball control. It's an okay card, especially when you train him up with 32 levels. He's got a nice in-game face, a scan as well. And he has unwavering form. He's going to be stuck on B rating for the foreseeable, especially, I think, until eFootball 25, when they kind of switch up that form, in my opinion. But it's not a bad card as a deep line forward. I think that by now, if you've been playing the game for a while, you'll probably have set on your deep line forward where you want to have them. It's not a bad card at all. But I mean, the, the thing I always say, lads, is Clivert is the type of card that you're not going to be really taking past Division 2. Um, and even at that, if you get to Division 2 with Clivert, you are limiting yourself if you are going for more wins. You are limiting yourself in what you can do on the pitch. And that's kind of the concern with a lot of these cards. It's the same, I would say, with Figo. Now, Figo is a good card. He's a good, definitely a good card. I know that Figo has played above his stats a lot of the time. A lot of people, you know, comment to me and say, you don't rate Figo. Now will you try this Figo out? I mean, I'm all for trying out cards. This Figo card definitely looks like a proper, proper winger. And I love out wide play. The problem is, is that out wide play just does not work. You need to have some sort of finishing or you need to be able to be an all rounder that can just do a lot defensively, all of that sort of stuff. Figo's got double touch and soul control off the rip. So give him flip flap and he'll have one of the most broken ball roll, special double touch moves in the game, whatever you want to call it. Outside curler, for, uh, one touch pass and first time shot is really nice on this card as well as long range curler. And of course, true passing off the rip. This is a fantastic card in terms of skills and in terms of his uh, booster as well. Dribbling in a tight possession as well as acceleration up at 80 to 85 off the rip at level one. This is when you can really tell if a card is going to be good. If you've got five, six, maybe seven stats in the 80s straight off the rip because 10 points in to those gets you even without a booster just his raw stats and his raw build at level one um just trained up without the booster is going to be into the 90s in most stats you know what i mean or sorry into the 80s and then you give him 10 onto that it's going to be 90s very very effectively with this so we will have the build for figo in a second i just feel like that wingers at the moment you need to be able to shoot with him now he's got 75 finishing but we'll see how we train him up I think what will be the best build for him, um, you know, and then we also have Saviola, so Saviola is definitely the pick of the pack, as we like to call it, definitely the pick of the pack, balance, ball control, dribbling, tie possession, finishing, and acceleration, all minimum 80, 85 acceleration, 
with 80 type possession and 82 balance is phenomenal for a card that goes 31 levels. We're not even going to take a look at his booster yet because he does have plus two to that. And also with the manager boosters now, such as Xabi Alonso or Guardiola, which a lot of people are now using, they're going to be given pretty much with the booster, you're getting a plus five now. Minimum plus five to every stat that you see here if a card has got a booster. Uh, or sorry, to the boosted stats. Do you know what I mean? And every other stat is going to be getting a plus two or three, depending on what, what manager that you have. So straight away at level one, you're going to have, you know, acceleration with the new Xabi Alonso. You're going to be getting the plus one acceleration. And then, of course, you're going to be getting the plus two to three, depending on the rest of your team and depending on the boost that your team gets. You're nearly going to be at 90 acceleration and 85 balance with 85 type possession straight off the rip. It's 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 ridiculous where they're going with the cards. But that kind of opens the question then is like, what did stats actually are the thresholds of? And we'll get into that. And we always try guide you guys with the guides. It's not just about having the best rated cards. It's about talking through exactly how the cards work, how the gameplay works, how the animations are, are, are kind of drawn in and all that stuff. And we go through that in all the live streams. But it's a phenomenal card. Saviola, run and gun demon. You've got first time shot. You've got double touch heading. Missing a couple of skills. That's the only thing. They do balance cards. You know, whether it's stamina, whether it's physical contact, whether it's type possession, acceleration, finishing they do usually balance the meta cards where cards where they know are really going to suit the gameplay so saviola here is definitely a really good really good option in my opinion um but i definitely think that it's a good it's a good uh it's a good pack with saviola and figo there it's not the best pack obviously i would say that that would fall to uh, a couple of packs ago and even the trend pack at the moment is is quite decent as well with stevie g so that is the build for clivert there boys you can see down the left hand side of the screen as i said this does doesn't take the manager or the booster into effect this is just his raw build and then you obviously get the added additional uh, boost with the manager boost and his own booster that is the build that we've gone for there 10 into shooting and 13 into dexterity are the highlight stats that we're going to be training up or the highlight build that's going to give us a really really nice card balance is a bit low but there's nothing that you can really do about that with this card figo is going to be the same we're going to have a very solid 5 5 8 11 9 build uh from shooting down to lower body strength acceleration balance type possession is going to be very very nice and also we're going to have 80 plus finishing 80 plus uh low pass uh stamina and speed are going to be quite decent as well so it's not a bad card at all i definitely think that figo could surprise people i mean i've played against figo a bit and he actually is you know he is very very good on the wing the problem is is that out wide players this they usually get suffocated by a good left back or a center back playing as a left back such as tommy or such as Araujo or wan -Bissaka. we also do have of course saviola here as well saviola is definitely one of those guys that is in the mold of romario so a lot of those players such as romario such as michael own they're going to be the demonic players in the game that's really really good run and gun you can see the stats here just his base stats unbelievable 92 ball control dribbling and 90 type possession and finishing with 95 acceleration and 92 balance speed and stamina not quite as high as some of the other players that you're going to have uh that you maybe have spun for like rummy or romario or any of those but definitely one to watch i think that saviola is going to be un unstoppable for the first couple of days here so um let's see let me know guys we might spin later with We'll see what you guys want. As always, everything goes back into the stream. But I will be back streaming in a little bit, probably around an hour and a half from now, or maybe a bit sooner, 11 a.m., uh, depending on when I get this video up. Until then, I will see you guys in the chat. Peace.